Thanks for joining us. This is Sarah with Ruffles and Rain Boots, and we are making these adorable Swedish Scandinavian Christmas gnomes. We are going to give you all of the instructions and some tips in the link down below, but really all you need is a wood slice, twine, a nose, and some faux fur. We're gonna start out by taking about 10 inches of twine and just knotting it on the end and setting it aside for later. Next up, we're gonna cut faux fur. And if you've never cut fur before, um, never, ever, ever use scissors. Or if you do use scissors, only cut the backing like I'm doing here. So what I did is I just kind of estimated the size from my wooden ornament by laying it out on the uh, fur. And then I cut just the backing with a razor. And you can see that really here. I'm lightly pulling between the two, so that, uh, from the two sides, so that you can just kind of pull it apart and really get those fibers uh, disconnected, but you do not cut through the faux fur. And then um, I'm going to cut it into sort of a point, and I'm using the natural side over there. Uh, again, you don't need a lot of this. So this is Mongolian fur, uh, which is different than the craft fur you get at craft stores. This is a very thick pile. It's gorgeous and it's sort of dark gray on the inside and it fades to white. It is absolutely beautiful and you can buy it in um, a quarter yard and everything like that but it is is just gorgeous. We love making gnomes with this stuff. Okay so moving on now what we're gonna do is just hot glue this down. We just made sure that it fit and we have most of our wood slice covered because what we're gonna do is make a little scrunchy hat and then we're gonna put down one side make sure it's you know semi even it doesn't have to be perfect it's a gnome and we're gonna hot glue that down as well as the other side now we can make a mustache I really like the look of gnomes with the mustaches so all you have to do is take a tiny little piece of scrap faux fur and you're just going to cut just the skinniest little rectangle and you're gonna see it in relation to the actual piece that we cut just a moment ago, but you're just going to cut the rectangle off of a little piece and then you're going to separate it down the middle and you just pull, I mean, that's all you're doing is just pulling it apart and we're going to hot glue that right at the top of where our faux fur is and we're going to be putting a button nose, like any kind of nose you want, clay, a little wood bead. We made little clay beads, um, but we've used pony beads out of my daughter's craft supply. We've used wooden beads from the craft store. You can use anything and you're just going to hot glue that sucker down and now for the hat a lot of people ask me how I make the gnome hats these are super easy these are not like the cone hats these are easy all you have to do is make sure you have enough material to go all the way around and then you're gonna cut it it doesn't matter what it looks like now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have most of the width and then we're gonna cut it into a cone shape now again we folded it in half so when we open it up it looks like a funky triangle and all you're doing right here is yay we're good to go because it fits our round now we're going to put the tiniest little dab of hot glue down at the bottom leaving the rest of it completely open because now we're going to attach our piece of twine and that's gonna be our little ornament hanger and all we're gonna do is just put a teeny tiny little drop of glue there and seal this thing up with hot glue. That's it. Doesn't have to be perfect, it is the back, but you can kind of play with it and move it around a little bit. It's, this is actually the, one of the easiest gnomes that I've made. Um, if you know me and Ruffles and Rainbows, I make a lot of gnomes. All right, so now we're gonna fit. The most important part is actually the nose, so get that right, kind of scrunch it down a little bit, put a little hot glue on the nose directly, and then fit your hat there first. And then the rest of it is just gonna be hot gluing the rest of the hat down. It's a super simple gnome, and because we're using the wood slice, you can make them all different sizes, whatever wood slice pack you have, um, but isn't he cute? Okay, so let's talk about some variations. You can do anything you want, but on the dark gray gnome, I felt it was a little too much gray, so I just cut off a teeny tiny bit of faux, I don't know, pine needles maybe, and I stole some beads from my daughter's bead supply. They're just these little tiny red seed beads and I figured they look like berries. So I'm just gonna hot glue those suckers down using a toothpick because hot glue is hot and we're done. That is it. Um, that little nose on that gnome, by the way, is a pony bead from my daughter's bead supply. So this is my daughter's gnome on her little Christmas tree. So thanks so much for joining us on Ruffles and Rain Boots. Please like and subscribe for all of the crafty fun Christmas and beyond.